In the previous video, I explained how to edit all of the pages. In this video, I'm going to explain how to get rid of the borders and how to change the graphics if you like. The first thing we have to do is go to View, Slide Master, and we're going to go up to the very first slide. Anything that happens in the first slide will be repeated in all of the slides. So that's where I put the blue borders. So all I'm doing is clicking and delete, click and delete. Let's go to the first page. The binding is on the left side, so that's why I put this little extra guide. Now this is where you can edit your leaves. You can even delete it if you like. One of the nice things I like about this is we can go into picture format, color, and actually change the color of the leaves to whatever you like. And what's really cool about it is that now you can make hundreds of notebooks by just changing the colors. Let's go to the actual first page of our diary. Once again, you can click all of these and change the color. Picture format, color, and let's change it to green to match the other ones. Maybe you'd like this one blue, and maybe you'd like this one green again. Doesn't matter, they can all be different colors. You're gonna notice that we have our guide here again because our binding is on the right. Simply click, delete, and there's your page. Let's go to the third page. Here's my binding side, so I need to delete that guide. Once again, we can change the picture to whatever color we like or leave it. We can even make it nice and light so whoever purchases this can actually color these in themselves. And that's what I like about this. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Since this is a diary, you might want to add other things like weather conditions or mood faces. What's really nice about this PowerPoint is I'm going to go into insert, icons, and the newest PowerPoint have all of these really cool icons in it. Since I've been using this, they've been adding more. Let's look at the first one. So let's go all the way down here to faces. We have all these faces to choose from. So let's do smiley, okay, sad. We're gonna insert, and then I'm gonna shrink them a little. Now you can put them wherever you want. I'm just gonna leave it here for now, and I'm gonna show you that in every right page, these will show up. Notice I didn't put them in the left page. Let's put something else in the left page. Let's go to Insert, Icons, and go all the way down to Weather and Seasons. Let's just put a couple weather symbols in here. I like to shrink them down a little bit. Try it again, there we go. And you could put these anywhere you want. Maybe you would like them to be sitting in here. I don't know. I remember that there's a line up here, so I need to shrink this a little more. But what's really cool about this is once again, we can change the colors. So maybe you want those green or blue, whatever you like. Now this will be on every left page. Let's actually look at our planner. Let's actually look at our diary. We need to get out of the slide master. If you look over here, we have close master view, so I'm going to click it. Now you're going to notice that everything we changed in the slide master has been changed. How cool is that? In the last video, I did show you how to add more pages, but let me show you again. You simply click, go down, control, click, right click, copy, go to the bottom here, you have this red bar, and then paste. You're going to notice way on the bottom that I've now highlighted the fifth slide, which is the same thing as the fifth page out of five. And you just keep going. Let me go to the title page again. If you're curious what this is going to look like in your final diary, go down to the right and we're going to go into the slideshow. And this is exactly what the page is going to look like. The next page and the next page and so on. I do want to mention again that anything in the gray will not print. And this is where I like to put little hints or tidbits about what you need to do or reminders also. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed these two videos and now download it. It's a free download and start practicing and playing and see what you can do. Remember, this is a PLR, so you can do whatever you want. The only thing that you can't do is copy the images and put it into a different PLR package or a different book. These have to stay with this book. And when you're done, you need to create this into a PDF. And that's how you would sell it. Or put it onto KDP. Cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comment box down below. Thank you.